Good morning, everyone. Due to popular demand, I thought I'd make a quick little video to show you how I make my morning breakfast smoothies before I set off on my daily walking adventures. First things first, you gotta have clean hands, which you'll just have to trust me. At some point within the last few hours, I did actually wash these bad boys. Now this is the, uh, whatever you call it, that I make the smoothie in. So we start by taking a ripe or ripe enough banana and we're gonna peel it. I am peeling my only really ripe banana, so I guess that means I'm gonna have to use this cut. And we drop the banana in the uh, container, that's what we'll call it. Now I have two different smoothies that I make. One is chocolate based and the other is vanilla based. So I sort of alternate. One day I'll do chocolate, the other day I'll do vanilla. And what I use is something called Whole Food Complete Nutrition. So this is a chocolate powder that you can make a meal replacement drink with, but I just use it for my smoothies. So I take one scoop. Sometimes it's heaping, sometimes it's not. And I add it to the banana. So I guess we're going with a chocolate one. Now, I get these on wholefood.ca, I think it is. I get a chocolate and a vanilla, and it comes with a blender bottle, and it's $179, and these things last me months because I only use one scoop for my breakfast cereal. And then, when I make the chocolate smoothies, I add mixed berries. And when I make the vanilla smoothies, I add tropical mix. Now these things are about five or six dollars at the supermarket, but what I do is wait for them to go on sale. And when they're $2.99 or $3.99, I just buy a truckload of them and fill up the freezer. So I will add some mixed berries to my chocolate and banana smoothie. looks about right. It's never the same. And I always add a green vegetable, usually spinach, broccoli, or kale. So I've got a few clumps of spinach left. So I will, oh, it's so early, add that. And I also this was not scripted, by the way, so I'm just hoping I don't screw up. Always add yogurt. I don't know what this says, but I do see the word yogurt on the container, so I assume it's what I want. So I grab a spoon and I add a big heap of yogurt to the smoothie. Toss the spoon into the sink. And the next ingredient is, ugh, this thing has been slimed. I probably <laughs> should have looked at this, but this is all natural peanut butter. And what happens is when you open up a new jar, it's super, super oily and kind of gross. And I just recently opened this one up and it kind of slimed itself because I didn't put it away properly. But I add a spoon of this. You can see it's all kind of oily and gross. Chuck the spoon into the sink. My hands are gross right now. I'm just give them a quick rinse. And I also am now in the habit of splashing a few vitamin D3s in there. I don't even know what this is or what it does, but people say you should do it these days, so not one to miss out on being on the bandwagon. I toss a few of these in there. You probably shouldn't stick your wet sticky fingers right in the vitamins and fish them out, but what do I know about that? Now one thing I forgot to mention with the peanut butter, since the all-natural peanut butter can be expensive from time to time, I also have the powdered stuff, which I use when 
I don't have any of the uh, cheaper all natural stuff. And you can get that from the Amazon. And by that, I mean Amazon.ca. And we're pretty much done. I just take some water, pour it in about two thirds of the way up. Guess that was a little more. We'll pop on the, uh, the blade. Now you need a fairly powerful blender if you're gonna put this much frozen stuff in there. So I use the, uh, the Ninja. I think this is a 900 watt blender. Hold it down, give it a shake. And we are just about finished. Shake that off a bit. And then since we're trying to be friendly to the environment, I use one of these silicone or silicon, whatever you say, uh, straws. And there we go. A delicious, healthy breakfast smoothie. So tomorrow, when I make my smoothie, I will use the vanilla and the tropical mix. And sometimes when I'm really lazy, I'll have one of these for lunch. Sometimes I'll have it for dinner. And that's about it. So uh, I hope you enjoyed this <laughs> quick video of me making a smoothie. I know this isn't really a guy walking around the city making observations, but if you liked it, let me know your thoughts and comments down below. And if you didn't like it, click dislike and unsubscribe. All right, thanks for watching guys. I will catch you on the next one. Oh God, that's awful. No, it's actually pretty good. All right, see you guys. Cut. Good morning, everyone. Due to popular demand, I thought I'd make a morning Good morning, everyone. <laughs> no, I fell off the wall. Okay.